Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here, and today I want to talk about something that I've seen a lot of people discuss on Twitter and other social media platforms. I've seen some YouTube videos about it as well, and I kind of want to bring, you know, another viewpoint to it because I think that it's really not that big of a deal, but I also think that you all will have some input as well. So I want to ask you, you know, during this video to let me know in the comments down below if this affects you, if you're one of the people that are no longer able to play Halo Infinite now because of this, I would actually really like to see if there's a ton of people. So, but before we get into the actual video, if you love Halo content, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We do pretty much only Halo, so, and I'm not a weirdo, I think, so... I, I would appreciate your sub. Anyways, with the newest patch that came to Halo Infinite, it looks like users with less than 4 gigs of VRAM cannot play the game at all, like in any capacity. So, while that sounds like a big deal, really in like the last 5 years, 4 gigabytes of VRAM has not really been an issue. It's been pretty standard, but there is one set of gpus that really took advantage of um a lower vram usage to get people into gaming on pc and that was the 1060. now really the only time that that was like a super popular card was in the early 2010s and it was kind of this middle ground transition between the 2 gigs and the 4 and 6 gigs. I think AMD actually had a ton of 3 gig series GPUs. And obviously the 1060 wasn't the only one that had it from NVIDIA. A couple other of their GPUs did as well. But the 1060 was super popular. Even I had a 1060 back in the day. And honestly, Halo Infinite, the recommended specs, you know, basically said that you needed 4 gigs from the get-go. I think with the loss of the 3 gigs and the patch and everything, is that Halo Infinite isn't that well optimized, and I think that this is just another way for them to kind of compensate for that, you know, to make sure that people aren't uploading videos and stuff maybe of the poor performance on those graphics cards. But honestly, I've seen a lot of people say that this has affected them, and I just, I, I really don't know if I believe that or not. So, I can't imagine, I, the player count isn't extremely high right now as it is, and you would think that they would not want to alienate anybody at this point uh, in terms of whatever hardware they're using. But I just can't imagine that a huge part of that PC population, I think there's like 1,500 people um on Steam right now playing, so I can't imagine that a huge chunk of people have been lost because of this patch, but 343 will hopefully talk about it. Maybe they'll give it a, an explanation of why they did that or why they're um, now enforcing that minimum hardware rule that they have. Who knows? I'm sure that they have a ton of data um, that they've collected through flights and stuff on what type of gpus people have in their their computers and like if there was like 30 percent of the population had a three gig vram gpu i can't imagine that they would just be like all right stop it you're not allowed to play anymore and lose out on another 30 percent of people playing the game i just don't think that that's what's happening so i think that it's a very minor group of people i've seen a ton of videos on youtube saying that this huge population can't play and 343 is keeping hundreds of gamers from playing their game and stuff like that. And I just, I don't know. Sometimes I see videos on here and I'm not trying to call anybody out, but it's just like, what are you doing? Like, I understand clickbait and I understand wanting to get views and, you know, wanting to, to see numbers go up and stuff. But it's just like, man, I just, when it's so outlandish like that, it's just kind of like I feel like I need to make a video on it or else this is just going to spin into something that is just uh, not not real. So that's going to do it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like down below. Let me know in the comments if this has affected you. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and I will catch you around the ring. Peace!